And today we will be breaking down the different types of neurons and their different functions throughout the body. So as demonstrated in the figure here on screen, there are four main types of neurons. So there are the unipolar, bipolar, and SUNY unipolar and multipolar neurons. So these, all of these neurons have a general similar structure, but the locations of the cell body are different and they have different functions throughout the body. So breaking down the different functions that we have, we have sensory neurons, motor neurons, and inner neurons. So first discussing the sensory neurons, sensory neurons are the nerve cells that are activated by sensory input from the environment. For example, when you touch a hot surface with your fingertips, the sensory neurons will be ones firing and sending off signals to the rest of the nervous system about the information they have received about the hot surface your fingertips are touching. The input that activates sensory neurons can be physical or chemical, corresponding to all five of the senses. Thus, a physical input can be things like sound, touch, heat, or light. A chemical input comes from taste or smell, which neurons then send to the brain. Most sensory neurons are pseudo-unipolar, which means they only have one axon, which is split into two branches. The next set of neurons that we're going to discuss is the motor neurons. Motor neurons of the spinal cord are part of the central nervous system, or CNS, and connect the muscles to glands and organs throughout the body. These neurons transmit impulses from spinal cord to skeletal and smooth muscles, such as those in your stomach, and so directly control all of the muscle movements. There are, in fact, two types of motor neurons. Those that travel from the spinal cord to the muscles are called lower motor neurons, whereas those that travel between the brain and spinal cord are called upper motor neurons. Motor neurons have the most common type of body plane for a nerve cell. They are multipolar, uh, each with one axon and several dendrites. The final neuron that we're going to discuss is the inner neuron. As the name suggests, inner neurons are the ones in between. They connect sp spinal motor and sensory neurons, as well as transfer signals between sensory and motor neurons and inner neurons. Can also communicate with each other, forming circuits of various complexity. They are multipolar uh, neurons, just like motor neurons.